But what about policies in in commercial uh, environments? First of all, you know, when you go work for a company, they might do a background check on you, but they don't clear you at secret or top secret level. So clearance is really not common when it comes to these kind of environments. However, there are other requirements that may arise in, in, in these kind of places. If we, we talked about, we go back to our payroll. Uh, if you're a payroll uh, department employee, then you can access applications that have to do with payroll, but others should not be able to do that. So one requirement could be that data is accessed by certain applications and only certain users be able to gain access to certain kind of applications. Requirement may be that known payroll department people don't have access to the payroll application. Other requirements that arise in uh, these uh, commercial environments is um, conflict of interest is, is pretty common. So if you're a law firm, have two customers, and there's some competitive relationship between those, then a lawyer working on one case should not have access to data that belongs to the other company when those two companies compete. Separation of duty typically is good for reducing the likelihood of fraud. So if one person can do multiple things, uh, it's easier for them uh, to commit fraud. In commercial environments, clearance is not there. BLP is not very useful, but perhaps you know the need for mandatory access control is there. So, so we want to look at uh, some models that may make sense uh, in, in this setting.